Hey. Yo, no way. Maybe maybe go out by the pool, Greg, with your bike. Um, I, I just put it here on the grass. That's oh, cool. Oh, yeah, and I did get that view. That's way better. Yeah. Put it put it put it out by the pool. Where's where's Sarah? Is she... <laughs> Sarah. <laughs> uh, Marsh would like you to uh, join in the conversation. He says now that you're TikTok famous. <laughs> she is loving it. I didn't I haven't seen her. What's happened? Look, I just flipped the switch. No way. I can't see you. Ah, oh, there you go. Yeah, this is Mont Maritzburg. Ah. There's Mont Cherie there. It's a fact. So you want the bike facing you, Marshy? Uh, yeah, like that's good. Is this thing working? Hello? Hello? Marshy. Oh, no God. way. Craig, how's it going? Bru, I, um, I've got everything set up. I need to fix this brake. Yeah. Keeping way too close. I've got the list of stuff you asked me to grab. So I've got the little tub. I went to the shop, got that. I got some oil. Yeah, got it all. So where do we start? Bikes in the stand on, on a good angle, I see. So the levers are, are level. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So if you want to stick your little two and a half mil Allen key in the, in the plug in the top and take it out. The little, the little majiggy on the top. This thing? Yeah, this one. It's a little two and a half mil. It's a little hard to see from here. Okay. Seal okay. it all. Sorry? You must have take the seal out as well. Make sure the seal's with the, with the screw and, and keep okay, it on the cool. screw. If the seal stays in the lever, you've got to take that out. Okay. Cool. Now, now take out your little... Uh, what is it? A uh, what's what's the number on that kit? SM disc O U S M O three. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So basically, there's the um, little bucket comes out. Don't worry about the holder. There's another piece there. There's a holder for it. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Just 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 put that on the table and screw that little bucket in. Yeah. Now, did you get any oil? I did. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So basically, put a bit of oil in the in that bucket. So put it in so it's about uh, not not halfway, maybe quarter of it. It doesn't need much in there. Must I put the plug in? No, leave leave the plug out. I've got the hydraulic mineral oil. You've got the hydraulic mineral oil. Yeah, cool. Oh, good Shimano stuff as well because you can't use anything else. It just feels bad. So. Undo that bottle and fill it up to about a quarter of the way. Yeah, there we go. I've never bled my own brakes. I just can't do it. Yeah, you so. will. You will. You'll be good. So now, like what what I said before, I, I can't can't remember if I said, but as the pads wear, the uh, the pistons go in and the caliper and all the oil goes down into the caliper from the lever. Um, so what we're trying to do now is top up the oil back up into the lever. So what what you should do is you should just flick the lever. And if you look in the bucket, you'll see some air bubbles coming out. So just pull I'll it in a little bit and let it go. Not, not all the way in, just like uh, maybe a quarter of the way yeah. in and then let it go. Just so it's flicking it. Tons of bubble coming out. Like that. So just keep keep flicking that. Don't pull it all the way in just yet. Just keep flicking it until the till the bubbles stop. Yeah. Have it's they stopped? stopped? Yeah. Okay. Now get get the Phillips screwdriver. Okay. Now now uh, there's a free stroke screw. It's a little Phillips screwdriver on the lever. Wind that out uh, five turns. Cool. And like you've, you've left your wheel in, haven't you? And the caliper and everything's still on. You haven't touched that. Wheels in, haven't touched the caliper at all. Oh, cool. you, you, hopefully you shouldn't have to touch that for now. So now, now you've wound that out five turns. 
Yeah. Okay, now flick the lever again and you should get some more air bubbles coming out. Yeah. And then just keep doing that till it stops. Okay. Okay, now wind the wind the free stroke screw back in. All the way. Yeah, all the way in and then back out quarter of a turn. That what's that what that's doing is it's um uh letting the piston move back out and sometimes you get a bit of air trapped around the spring in there. So that's just move, moving the piston out to as far as it'll go and then pushing it back in again. So give it another little flick. Ooh, some more, and some oil. So, should be a little bit of black come out, but that's all right. Yeah. Okay. Black oil, um, nothing wrong with black oil. Cool. And, and is that starting to feel better now? A couple more bubbles still coming out. Okay, keep on keep on doing that. You might want to do that with the free stroke screw again. Okay, so five turns out. Yeah, five five turns out, and all that's doing is it's moving the piston further back out than it would normally go with uh, with just the lever. So that little screw pushes the piston in. This is like this is this is what you do if your brake started feeling a little bit mushy, and then. Uh, uh, you go, why are my brakes feeling mushy? And you do this little burp out the top and you let the air out um, and then fill it back up again. And yeah, they just seem to work quite well after that. Once it's in there and if you haven't damaged anything, like if there's no damaged hose or nothing's damaged, then you should never really have to bleed it. All you should have to do is this. And then when the pads wear, you put the bucket, uh, sorry, when you put new pads in, you put the bucket on and the when you push the pistons back the oil goes up into the bucket so how's that feeling greg better yeah for sure better. so okay so what I'll, what i'll get you to do now is um uh put that you know there's a little uh little stick a little magic wand that goes in the bucket sorry yes that one so stick, it stick, in. That, in the, stick that in the hole in the bottom cool Cool, and then unwind that, and then put that little uh, bucket in the holder. Should I put the little screw back in while it's open? Now, yes, now now put the little screw back in. Make sure there's not, in it, the, the O-ring hasn't stayed in there. If, if the O-ring, if two O-rings get into the system, you, it, it causes a problem. So make sure there's only one O-ring on the screw, and the one stayed on the bucket. Yeah, I don't like a lot of lever stroke. It's... Uh... I think this is why we do this quite often because as the pads away, it gets too much lever stroke. So, um, I mean, the other the other thing I do is I'll just put new new pads on, um, and that'll actually do the same job because it'll push the pistons back out. Because when we do um, uh, change the oil on the brakes, then um, we do new pads and everything at the same time. Sorry, my sister's trying to call me. I don't know why she's trying to call me. I'm trying to believe. Well, that, okay, so it, so that's so you so your front brake you you never it's use it anyway. Brake. You've like oh you like your mirror image. Yeah. I'm quite keen to do it. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. But, I mean, what happens also that's with Greg is the now. can't can't hear. What happens with Greg is uh, I'll set him up with a new set of brakes and pads and discs and everything, and he'll go off and do one run of the track. And after the first run, he'll come back and his rear brake will be blue, and it looks like his front brake he's not touched. So it's kind of an indication of his riding style. And that's also the same with the... Um, uh, with the uh, um... Let the liquid white work. Let your brush work. You just enjoy. You just enjoy, because painting should make you happy. Quick, quick question. Sorry to interrupt the story there, but if I run the free stroke screw all the way in, if you put it all the way in, what what we've had sometimes is if you do it up too tight, it'll stop the oil returning back into the lever. 
So, okay. uh, so, so I remember there was one time at um, Sea Otter when it got really hot, the brakes w- went, went r- weird. So we found out that if you back, if you wind that screw in really tight, it um, uh, can close off the piston. I think Shimano might have moved the hole after that, but then I just back it out quarter of a turn just okay. to make sure that that doesn't happen. Perfect. Thank you. What's he doing now? Oh, God. Yeah, okay. No, you're doing it good. <laughs> so how did, how did that uh, front brake go, Greg? The front brake went pretty good. Um, oh, good. Quite a lot of air came out once I did the um, free stroke screw. Once I turned it out, loads of air came out. So Cool. And they feel really good. Oh, good. Real good. Oh, very good. Cool. That's all then. Your hair's looking good, by the way. I need to work on mine. Thanks, bro. Oh, by the way, uh, I finally put that seat on. Um, ah, right. You finally made your mind up that you wanted the seat on. You know the one that you didn't put on in Portugal? I put it on today, or else I would have been in trouble. Now you listen here. He's not the Messiah. He's a very naughty boy. Thanks, Marshy. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Greg. I hope they feel better. Did they feel bad? They do. Anyway? Yeah, they really do. They feel good. Oh, good. Right on. Ashi? Yeah. Yo. I'm still uh, here. Still... Yeah, can I oh, switch off? I think so. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'll chat later, Ashi. Bye. Bye.